guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some super easy, neutral Dollar Tree DIYs. Um, one of my goals for this channel is to always try to be unique and different. That makes it kind of difficult sometimes when I'm continuously putting content out for you guys to watch because... I can't always have the best ideas or the most creative or unique so sometimes you know I sit there in my craft room and I just sit there for an hour or two hours trying to find inspiration in something and I just have zero luck and I was having that issue when I was trying to create this DIY to where I finally said you know what <sighs> breathe so fits perfectly inhale exhale namaste so this video was inspired by these prints that I saw online on soul charms and I thought they were really really cute again you guys know I like doing stuff that's on a budget um, so taking the size and price of this I thought you know what I got this let's dollar tree it up if this is your first time here welcome and thank you so much for joining me I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video all right Let's get on to the DIY. So for this DIY, you're going to need two packages of the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. Each package comes with 36 pieces. Each one of the frames that I'm going to make has 26 pieces, so you'll have 10 left over for a different project. So I'm going to glue eight pieces for each side and then five pieces for the top and bottom and just glue those together and then at the corner. Also, I already pre-measured and cut my foam board piece. Um, I just did it to the size of the frame and then, you know, I'm going to glue it on top of there. So on the foam board, I'm going to mark the halfway point and then taking my ruler, I'm just going to slightly make a line on here and that's what's going to help me kind of stay pretty straight with the word that I'm going to put on here. And just using my pencil, I'm going to do my inhale part and then using this Dollar Tree glass paintbrush marker, which is amazing, I'm just going to go ahead and trace over over the lettering. So word of advice when you're tracing over the letters, I would just go for it. Don't pause too much like I am like when you're making the lines because I feel like that made my lines look a lot choppier. So if you just do like long strokes and not pause in between, your wording or your lettering is going to come out a lot smoother. And then also just erasing that pencil line, I'm going to get an extra piece of paper and I'm going to trace over the word that I already made. That way it keeps everything pretty similar. I am going to change the N to X obviously for exhale and then once that's done I'm gonna flip the page over and then trace the the lettering flip it over again and put it on my foam board and just kind of draw over it and that's gonna help the pencil transfer onto the foam board For this next one, we're going to take 14 pieces of the Jenga blocks. We're going to do two on each side and five at the top and the bottom. Just glue them together like normal. And then uh, taking another piece of foam board, I am going to write the word Namaste. Do the exact same thing that I did on the other two signs. And then just cut it out and glue it inside of the frame. The reason I didn't do it on the other bigger frames was because I actually don't know why. I think I just got lazy. Um, on the other two signs, I did actually paint the sides of the foam board black so you could keep it like this but I am actually gonna take some of this craft smart bright gold paint and I'm gonna paint one of these little terracotta pots from uh, Dollar Tree these come in a pack of three I'm just gonna paint the trim gold or like the top part gold and then taking my hot glue I'm just gonna make some little dots on there and after that I will go ahead and paint it with some white acrylic paint from Walmart So last but not least, we're going to take this Dollar Tree wooden pineapple box and I'm going to take that same apple barrel acrylic paint from Walmart and just give it a good coat of paint. Uh, once that's done, I am going to take some tape and cut it into thin strips and I'm going to give it that illusion that it's an actual pineapple. And then taking that same gold paint, I'm just going to dab it on there with a paintbrush and doing this gives it sort of a texture when it dries so it looks really nice. It's not just like flat and I'm just gonna do it all over the front. I'm not really gonna paint the back or the sides or anything like that. And then now I'm gonna take this acrylic craft paint, it's um, a chalkboard green, and mix it with a tiny, tiny bit of black and just gonna paint the stem part of the watermelon. 
no, this is not wa a watermelon. This is a pineapple. <laughs> and then you guys know I am not patient when it comes to paint drying. Um, just carefully, I went ahead and took the tape off, and you know, it kind of messed up on a little bit on a few lines, but it's okay. So now I'm just gonna fill it up with some floral foam, some greenery, and it's all set. be it for today thank you guys so much for joining me if you did enjoy this video I would love it and it would help me out so much if you guys gave me a thumbs up leave me your comments down below don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye